Papa, we're on final. Final 1633, thanks. It's just after 4.30 in the afternoon, nearing the end of a 12-hour shift for the primary crew from Orange Air Ambulance. One last glance at the city before touchdown. The day started 10 and a half hours earlier, 6 a.m. at Billy Bishop Airport on Toronto Island. The morning briefing with all four crew members led by Captain Mark Rayburn. Weather today is excellent. Soon after, there's a quick safety briefing from pilot Gary McMahon. Okay. I need to learn the basics because in this job, time is crucial. We're measuring time for response. It's got to be it. It's, good. it's a quicker turnaround. Then... Yeah, man. All right. All right, let's go, boys. A call comes in. It's a car crash near Grimsby, and we have to move. Paramedic Tara Williams is one of two in today's crew. The other, Jonathan Britton. Within five minutes, we're in the air. Uh, you get the call details. You get that adrenaline rush of, here we go, let's get ourselves organized and get out the door. There's a patient with a broken arm and a partially severed hand with uncontrolled bleeding. The call came in at about 10.56 this morning. Current time is 11.15. So we've been in the air for about 19 minutes. We're going directly across Lake Ontario from the Island Airport to the Smithville Grimsby area. That's where the collision happened. And as soon as the call came in... Yeah, as per Niagara, uh, we've been cancelled. Patients been transported by land to Hamilton General. The call is cancelled. The crew sent back to base. But the wait isn't long. Another call, this one to transfer a patient from Aurelia to Toronto. And we're back in the air. The patient, a woman in her 60s, is suffering from respiratory issues caused by a mass in her trachea. The patient is loaded into the helicopter. She's on oxygen, which has to be secured. And her condition causes the crew to alter their flight plans. Now, it can be different for each call. This particular call, they actually have to fly at a level of 500 pre because the patient has respiratory issues. And the higher they go, it could mean bad things for her. So the ride back's a bit bumpy, but quick. All secure, guys. All secure. All secure. Thanks. Jonathan keeps the patient as comfortable as possible. Until we land at Sunnybrook Hospital just after 3 o'clock. From there, the patient was transferred by land. She'll meet up with her family at Toronto East General. Once care is transferred, we head back to Sunnybrook, where the crew's waiting. How's my latte? Is it still warm? Oh, uh, yes, it's very warm. On any given day, these guys can see the worst of the worst. So on the flight home, Tara talks about what it's like to help a patient like the one they saw today. We're all human, so to be able to attempt to reassure the family that we're going to take care of their loved one, provide the best care that we possibly can, um, all that we can do, really. And then there's one last chance to look out no. the window. I'm sure some people are kind of like, whatever, but I love flying, and I always, you always catch me looking out the window, checking out the sights. <laughs> Sean Lee Thong, CTV News.